Well, welcome to the next video in the RexDog Trading System Training. In this video and section, you'll learn all about ticks and tick charts. By going through this training, you'll discover how to use tick charts in your technical analysis and how trading with tick charts will give you a huge edge that I'd say 90% of retail traders just simply don't have or don't know about. And I'll actually take it a step further. If you combine tick charts with the RexDog trading system, it more than doubles your edge. And I say more than doubles. And I know that's a big statement, but if you watch the evidence videos in the training, and I covered tick charts in one of the videos, you can clearly see on tick charts the reaction areas for some really big trades. You'll also notice how well the tick charts align with hidden channels and levels especially on the big tick market structure charts. You also probably noticed how well the RexDog system momentum indicators provided really good trade entry and exit areas. Now all of that is just scratching the surface and we'll get into great detail throughout this training. But let's first cover the why. We'll cover the what. We'll cover what tick charts are if you're not familiar. But let's talk about first why. Why tick charts? Why should you spend time to adopt them and to bring them into your trade system? Well, first up, and I mentioned this, it provides an instant edge that most retail traders simply aren't using. Next up is a huge one. It removes time as a factor, and this is huge. I can't really emphasize how big this is. Most of the charts you use are time-based. 5-minute, 60-minute, 240, daily, whatever you're using, they're time-based. And when you remove that time element, which is one of the things that a lot of new traders really struggle with, is how time plays a huge role in basically every trade decision you make. Well, if you can look at the market from a non-time-based way, more of a structured way, more of a volume-based way, it gives you a huge edge. So this one here we'll get into a lot here as we move forward in the training we'll talk about time and and we'll talk about how you correlate the tick charts to the time charts that really when you can correlate what's happening on the the five minute chart for instance to a tick chart you've got a trading superpower it really it really is a trading superpower to be able to do that and it gives you a huge edge so that's a huge why now the next why is it re it reveals what's going on underneath underneath the hood what i mean by that you can look at a, a one hour candle and you can look at that same one hour candle in a tick chart, uh, big tick, small tick, uh, you know, medium ticks. And you can look at that and it reveals what really happened at certain levels and how rejection happened. More than a five minute chart, you could relate it somewhat to a one minute chart, but even then the tick chart gives you a, a really different view of what's going on underneath each individual candle. And it also gives you a better view of the volume, price, and volatility. You, you see a candle and, and you see how it's made, you know, if it's a green candle, you know that it, it opened at a level and it closed at a higher level. You can see the rejection areas. And that's within that given time frame. But when you see the same price action in a tick chart, you really get a feel of the volume, the how long it spends at a certain price, the volatility, how big the moves are. You really get a whole different view of the market. Now I'll say the final big why that tick charts just make sense to adopt in your system is it provides precision entry and exit areas. You see this a lot in my live trading. I'm, I'm looking for, especially if you see a breakout or maybe a bottom, the tick charts provide you really good pullback areas or stop areas, reaction areas, uh, for entries and exits. It's, it's really, like I said, correlating that time chart to the tick chart. It really, when you're able to do that, you become a next level trader. So now that we covered some of the top reasons why tick charts are really a great addition to your trade system, let's talk about the what. What are tick charts? Well, quite simply, a tick chart draws a new bar after a set number of trades. So the, the difference in a tick chart and a time chart is that's the amount of time that represents that five minute window or that one hour window. A tick chart, on the other hand, what it does is it draws a new bar 
after a certain amount of trades. I'm not going to get into unbundled or bundled and how every 10 years the CME changes that, for instance, but just think of it generally this way. is it, It's a 500 tick chart like you're seeing here. I could have told you that this was a five-minute chart or a one-minute chart. You wouldn't have really batted an eye, but this is a 500 tick chart. It uh, doesn't really matter what market, but this is 500 trades in each candle. Obviously, if you got a red candle, the, the sellers overcame the buyers in that particular candle in that 500 trade range is the way to look at it. And that's really all it is. So there's no real mystery. Uh, one thing I'll say is that the same rules that you would apply in time charts, typically uh, using the Rexdog system, you're going to apply them in tick charts as well. So it's it's really the same. You don't have to learn any new rules or any new ways of reading levels, candles, uh, rejection, intention. You don't have to learn anything new there. The same thing applies to tick charts. So one thing I should mention before we move on is there is something called the tick index and don't get this confused. So there's tick charts and then there's the tick index. So for instance, the NYSE or the NYSE tick index, that measures or what that's telling you is the number of stock issues trading at an uptick versus a downtick. I'm not going to get into the detail of this, but so for instance, on trading view and uh, you can get the NYSE tick index. You can't get tick charts on TradingView, so we'll get into that as well. But you can't get, you don't get tick charts with TradingView. It's different. So you might see something on TradingView that says tick. It's really the tick index. I just want to make that distinction because it's something you might run into as you go out and and maybe look a lot deeper into tick charts. So let's talk about the general tick rules. So we'll get into some rules here before we jump into charts and jump into the rest of the training. But general rules is that you have a small tick, and I put in parentheses five minute, one minute. The way to look at this is I'm relating what the small tick would represent in a time chart. So typically a small small tick chart, uh, you can relate that to the five minute or the one minute. And it's good for entries, and it's good for short-term momentum. So if you're doing quick scalps, the small tick chart is a, is a really good tick chart that you'll reference a lot. Uh, then, the, then we typically have the mid-tick chart. And this is uh, relatable to the 30 minute, 15 minute. It reveals short term market structure. So you got the small tick, really good for entries. You got the mid tick. It reveals kind of how is momentum building, how is market structure building on a, a more of a what you're going to look at on the 30 minute and 15 minute time frame. And then you have the larger big tick. And this is something that is more the 60 minute and 240 minute time frame. This really shows long-term market structure and zones. And a lot of times, uh, for instance, you'll be seeing me, like in live trading, taking a trade that doesn't make a lot of sense. But a lot of times I'm taking that trade based on the probabilities of where the trade's at within the larger big ticks. And because those, those are big market structure areas. Those are big market structure zones. So price gets into those zones you, it provides you a lot of good opportunity, for instance, for fades uh, and fades where it reacts really quick because it's hitting that zone on a larger market structure. It's kind of like the daily. If if you're around the, the previous day high, for instance, you expect when price gets there, it's going to have some kind of reaction. It's going to at least have an initial reaction that is reliable. It's the same type of thing on the large and big ticks. Now, when we talk about the tick market, what, what markets do you find tick charts? Uh, you'll find them in futures, a Forex, crypto. Uh, you have to use some different platforms in crypto. But futures, beyond a doubt, Forex, uh, yes, and crypto. Now, equities, I don't, uh, I've never really searched for are there tick charts. I'm sure there are on stuff like individual equities, like, like uh, Tesla uh, or, um, you know, any other stock you can mention. So I don't know. I've never used them. Uh, I would I would assume there probably is tick charts. I've just never. I one thing I'll, I'll share is I do in equities. I trade long swings, short swings, and, and long term investing. Uh, that's what I do in equities. So my experience in day trading equities, uh, and I probably should do a video on this uh, sometime why I, I simply don't day trade equities. Just uh, the biggest thing is that if you day trade equities, if you're not gonna just trade a 30 bucket, so like you're not just gonna pick some 
maybe 30 stocks from different industries and different markets that you can just follow and just trade those 30. You have to then devise a system of how do I find what the hot stock is today. Uh, and you have to de devise a whole scanning system. And it just doubles your pre-market. Uh, it really does. Uh, so for me, I, I want volatility. And trading the indexes and the Forex market, of course crypto, uh, provides volatility pretty much on a daily basis. Uh, equities, you have to search for those ones that are going to be volatile. So that's that's one of the biggest reasons why. So I'm sure they exist, but reliably I can say futures, forex, and crypto, you're going to find them. Now the final thing we'll cover here is there are no tick charts on TradingView. And if TradingView actually does want to be a tool for the professional trader, they have to add tick charts. The fact that they I'll never consider it a professional platform until it does. Uh, and this is a question that's asked to TradingView quite a bit. They've addressed it. Not They've said they're working on it. Maybe, maybe not. They've never really said anything conclusive. Uh, it would be huge. Uh, hopefully, when they do release this, they don't change their whole pricing structure and, and, and completely uh, nix a large population of their uh, subscriber base. But, and I'm getting into the politics too much of this, but it it's... Uh, you won't find them on TradingView. Now, where will you find them? Typically within your broker. So if you trade any of the futures brokers, they have tick charts. Uh, there's platforms out there like Quantower that will have tick chart components that you can, as long as the broker provides that data set, you'll be able to get it. So uh, I've used Quantower in the Forex market, for instance, in the crypto market. Uh, tick charts there. Uh, typically on brokers, I'm using their platform and then the tick charts on their platform. So that's where you're gonna find them. Well, now that we covered the what and why of tick charts, let's uh, talk about what follows here in the tick training. So the first thing that we'll go through, you'll, you'll go through is an introduction in charts. So I'll just introduce you to looking at tick charts, how maybe it's a little bit different from time charts. Uh, we'll just, just a quick introduction. So. If you're already familiar with that, that's something you can kind of breeze through. It'll be a short video anyways. Uh, the next thing that we'll cover is what current tick values. I mean, you'll get this in the training. Uh, cover the ESNQCL, so oil and, and gold. Uh, we'll talk about both the minis and micros. I'll talk about Forex and we'll talk about crypto. Uh, the other thing that you'll learn in this is, is not only what do I recommend and what do I find highly reliable, especially paired with the Rexdog system in all these markets. So you get the exact tick value. But then you'll also get how do you calculate this or figure this out by yourself. Uh, how do you figure out what tick market, for instance, to use in corn or to use if you're trading maybe the Russell. And I'll include the Russell actually numbers that I use trading the Russell. But maybe you trade a market, maybe uh, the metals market or something. Uh, they'll be training in here how to figure out what best tick values that you should use. And finally, you'll learn how to trade with ticks in your system. Obviously, if you're adopting the Rexdog system, it's highly relatable to the Rexdog system in trading and time charts, what I mean. So if you've just been trading time charts, you don't have to learn anything new about what you've learned in the Rexdog system. Tick charts align well with that. So it's uh it's we'll talk about how to even if you're not trading the Rexdog system we'll cover a lot of things that tick charts give you that even provide you with a greater edge and I'll reemphasize this if you get good at correlating tick charts to time charts it really is a trading superpower it's really a trading quantifiable skill and edge it, it really is I, I can't emphasize that enough so if you uh, especially if you're intraday trading. If you're intraday trading, uh, swing trading, this could provide a huge edge too because you're looking at larger tick charts. You're really seeing market structure in a whole new way. But if you're intraday trading, it's almost critical that you use tick charts. It gives you so much additional information that you just don't have with time charts. So that's what uh, we'll follow in this training. Uh, the next video will be an introduction to uh, tick charts. Just take it slow really just uh, cover the differences between tick charts and time charts and uh, we'll, we'll start introducing aspects of the Rexdog system with that as well so uh, that's in the next video and I look forward to seeing you there